What up people, we're back in another Roblox video and this time we're going to show you how to AFK every challenge besides bare bones challenges. There are a couple short range ones you want to avoid too. I would just avoid them all together because it makes the process slower. You want good times when AFKing challenges to get rerolls. The more you do, the more you get. Simple math. Anyways. Before we get into it, I just want to say that one of the tricks I use to AFK fast is I wait for the ending screen, okay? And when I see the retry, what I do is I put a sticker over the retry, a small sticker just in the box. So when I'm going to go program uh, a tiny task, I don't have to wait for the game to end. I could literally start the game and click. This, however, requires some precision when you're not doing just 30 second tasks. There are tasks that I'm going to show in this video that can be done in under 25 seconds. The ones that are longer, it's best probably to wait unless you know what you're doing. What I like to do is I wait for the round to st I start the tiny task as soon as the level starts loading. And then I start clicking in the spot where the sticker is. That's the retry button. And then when I load in, I wait till Act 1 starts, and then I start the task, if I'm not going to wait till the end. Anyways, so yeah, we're just going to show you exactly what I mean by, uh, we're going to wait for these dudes to eliminate us. But this is basically with Tatsumaki. You could use Overlord, or you could use uh, Avatar like we're using. I don't know if it works with Glitch. It should work with Glitch. Glitch is like one of the best abilities in the game. But this is a one unit tutorial. So you have to get Tatsumaki. And you have to get a good passive. You have to max out her skill tree. And you have to uh, be happy. And if you don't have her, try to find her in a banner. It's worth spending your rerolls on right now. Because think of it as the long run. You're going to be AFK for rerolls to get on your characters. Why not have one unit that farms for everything? On a side note, Tatsumaki with uh, All Seen is actually very good for uh, water because with water challenges, she's able to reach all the way to where they spawn from just the place I put her. You're going to see that later in the video. But anyways, All Seen is pretty good too. It helps you. I would keep All Seen Tatsumaki, try to get two, and then, uh, yeah. Roll on the other one that doesn't have all seen on it. If you do get it. Uh, I don't know about Shinigami. So you got to have to test it yourself and see what's up. I know it got buffed. But yeah, just try it. And if it works, it works. That's good. I know some people say they had to place two units. Sometimes for uh, certain acts. So I don't know if it correlates with that. Anyways, this is what I mean. When you see the screen right here, you're going to click... Put a sticker right on the retry button. That way, when you start the task, you could do like retry. You could grab Tatsumaki. And yeah, you could put her where you need to put her. The 30 second ones are the ones where uh, you don't move besides water. In water, I just move a little. And I still record a 30 second one because you don't need to upgrade the unit. Anyways, that's me explaining. I'll be explaining more. And uh, they're all going to be in order. Every level is going to be in order. So we're starting with desert. We're finishing with this. All right, guys. Let the video begin. All right. So next, we're looking at desert village. Uh, it's flight. As I said before, we're not doing bare bones. This is going to be under 25 second tiny test. Okay. So... As I said before, you'd have the restart button, right? You beat the wave, and then you program the tiny task after you beat the wave, because you don't want them going through this. By the time they go through this, you'll be at wave uh, 13. Anyways, the tiny task goes like this. You have a sticker, put on the retry button, so you know where it is at all times on your monitor. Uh, yep, that's what I do. And then I go like this. Record, click on retry, click over Tatsumaki, click on here. Clicker there, clicker here. Upgrade, tiny task is done. 
And as you can see, boom, goes down, clicks on Tatsumaki one time, clicks a bunch of times there, upgrades her. It's a simple loop. So that's desert. Yeah, so now we're in water park. And as you can see, we're in Act 2, and we're doing Speedy. That might sound like a broken record, but we don't want bare bones. You could try it if you want, but it's not something that I recommend for 8th game. You want something easy? Speedy's really good. This is probably the best one you could get. Use all scene Tatsumaki, because that way she attacks the dudes as soon as they spawn. You want to start with the retry button when you start a tiny test. So it's good to have a little indicator on your screen, maybe a sticker or something. That way I could just start it up like this. What I do is I go, boom, record, click, click, click. Bam. Click on Tatsumaki. Place. Then I do it again. I'll do this again. Boom. Place it again. And that's it. Stop it. You don't even have to upgrade. So. That's the test. That's the tiny test. It's going to keep looping like that, and you're going to see the dude run into the wall like that. And that's okay. We're cool with that. So sometimes you'll see him climb the wall. It doesn't really matter. Because as soon as you put Tatsunaki down, you're chilling. If you had all seen, she'd be attacking like this. So she'd get a piece of these people, and they, wouldn't, they would be killed faster. This is the fastest one, I think. Maybe one of the fastest ones. I'm not sure with the new ones. But it used to be the fastest one because you could finish in about 4 minutes and uh, 40 seconds. Anyways, yep, yeah, that's it for this. What up? So this is probably going to be the fastest one to do Hollow Dimension. I'm watching the video with you and I'm just going to pop in whenever I have to just clarify some things in the video. So yeah, we're just going to let it play. 30 second ones are easy to do on Mac. If you have Automator, a lot of times Mac messes up when you're just clicking on stuff and doing long programs when you're walking. So I suggest that if you're on Mac doing Automator, only focus on the challenges that are done in 30 and under 30 seconds. This one up next is going to be a seven second one. So yeah, here you go. So we have a good spawn. This is beautiful. There's basically a retry button that pulls up here, right? Start recording. Boom. Click retry. Click on Tatsumaki. Click her down. Clip upgrade. Stop the recording. Look at that. The loop is done. If you have any hill unit, throw it there with a good passive. Literally infinite loop. We're just doing that shit. All right, on to the next world. So next challenge we're going to do is Planet Namek. So I go inside the portal with someone there. Uh, you want to do this alone because this is going to be a task that requires you to uh, record the whole 15 wave uh, challenge. So basically, either beat the challenge or lose it right away. When you see the retry screen, click on the retry screen. You always want to wait for uh, the challenge to start. And also, this is going to be another thing that for every single uh, task you record, make sure you're clicking a bunch of times. I would say three or more times on everything you're doing. So when you're clicking on the retry, click three or more times. Same spot. When you're clicking on... Uh, the unit, though, oh, that's the only time you click once. So you have to click on the unit just one time. But when you place the unit, click on the spot where you place them a bunch of times. When you upgrade the unit, click on the unit a bunch of times before you upgrade. Then click on the upgrade a bunch of times. And then I guess, uh, yeah. Every time you see have enough money to upgrade, make sure you have, I would say, 500 over before you start upgrading. Because you want to make sure that if there's any delay or something, that you're still upgrading. A lot of the times when uh, you're doing these tasks, you could lose because you didn't upgrade at the right time. Tatsumaki pretty much runs everything, so you're not going to run with, into that problem too much. But you could also drop your own units. 
since this is a you spawn since you are spawning in the same place if you have like let's say a cheap unit like garp you could place right away maybe try afkane with him you know let me know what uh, happens in the comments with your those units and uh, let's just continue this is going to be uh yeah so this is one where you have to record the full thing like always don't do bare bones so you're going to be looking this way yeah. then uh if i'm going to be walking i'm gonna so basically let's say the level ends you click retry uh, you start recording you click retry then it puts you here you wait for the wave to start you see i'm at two seconds for the wave one then you start walking forward and go like this boom walk and on do here. this drop tatsumaki bam put her down always click in the spot she's on then click on her avatar multiple times then you upgrade her multiple times you see i'm clicking right. multiple times That's at, all the time McNamic. next we're doing star action. make sure that you leave rip but anyways this is another one where you have to fully record the task it's not a 30 second uh, task this is one where you have to walk every time you're walking there's no 30 second tasks unless uh it's water because you don't have to upgrade the unit after that's what causes the problem it's because if you're doing a 30 second task and you're walking you're going to be away from your point at one at a certain time but water you just need to place the unit and you're chilling so it's okay to walk in the water. Challenge. And, uh, yep. Yeah. And do it alone. But basically, I'm going to start recording as soon as it starts loading. If you have the sticker on your screen, this is perfect. Because right now, you click it. Boom, boom, boom. Click on the sticker. I'm recording. Then I land. And I chill. I wait till it drops to zero for wave one. I'm going to use WASD to move around. Yeah, never use uh, the arrow keys or the mouse Go to down. move your screen. And that's it. Just a little down. Go here. Click, click, click. The reason why I click above the avatars too when I'm recording stuff is because I want responses. Sometimes when you click on the screen, it doesn't respond right away. So I click a bunch of times over the avatar to assure that that one click I click on the avatar is going to work. As you can see, I'm going to click a bunch of times. Click, click, click. Move it up. Move, move it up. up. When I'm moving up, I'm moving it towards their chest area. So I get... Uh, sometimes it's finicky. If you're clicking in the same spot where you placed them, as you can see, it disappears sometimes, and then it reappears and disappears. So I click on the chest, and every time you click on the chest, it always appears. Move it up and click. And you should be good. If you get AFK like this, we're going to cut right to the ending. The reason we're cutting to the endings because this is the first time we're doing it. Uh, we like to make sure that what we're giving you guys is actually stuff that works. I don't need to do it for water in the desert because I know they work. And the hollow one, I know it works too. But uh, this one we're just seeing and we're showing you that it is possible. I don't fully upgrade uh, Tatsumaki. As you can see it's 4 out of 6 right now. We just cut. But you can upgrade them. And just do the same thing I say. When you have enough money, 500 over, just click a bunch of times on the upgrade. All right. Now, as you can see, we beat that, and we didn't even fully upgrade her. This is uh, where you're supposed to put the sticker. All we want to see is if I could put down... Uh... You may It may be possible to do 30 second on recordings on any map. You just have to have the right unit. I think Garpwood could be one of them because he's a, not a hill unit and he's a hybrid unit so when you place him down he, he's cheap and he does a lot of damage so let me know if, if there's any other characters that are good for that i think garp is probably one of the best though if you're gonna do a 30 second loop and just upgrade but it might take longer too the ones i'm doing are the spawn points closest to the I'm picking the points closest to the spawn because you want it to go quick. The quicker it goes, the more rerolls you get. The Tatsumaki. I wonder if she could just solo right off the bat without even upgrading her. No, she can't. She might be able to. No, she won't. Probably not, though. Yeah.
looks good to me. The reason I'm showing you guys the endings of these videos is because I don't know if they work. Ah, uh, shut up. I see they work, and I could actually confirm. The desert and water ones, I don't need to watch that. I've done 10 billion. Really? So you, you're good with those, yeah. And you're good with these too, because they work. We're going to show you how to FK in Superhero City. Bare bones died. All right, so this one I'm going to be doing talking like a... Okay, I'm just going to let you the show. camera angles with the mouse nor the arrow keys. There's going to be a sticker here that's right on the retry button. I'm so, gonna... yeah. Every time I'm saying I'm clicking on retry. I placed Tatsumaki at first because this is the first time I spawned in. And I want to make sure I'm placing it in the right place. And because I already have a sticker on my monitor where the retry button is, I could just loop it easily. Yeah, aim for under 25 seconds when doing the loops. So yeah, click on the retry button. You're going to see me do it right now. Then click over the unit, click on the unit. Place the unit down. Click a bunch of times on the spot. Mm -hmm. Move your mouse up a little so you can click better on the unit. And then upgrade. And then that's it. And then you have this infinite loop like this. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to see if we're actually able to AFK it because I haven't actually tried this out to see if we could AFK with just one unit. We can. So see you in a little bit. As you can see, the boss just spawned. We'll see how Tazumaki deals with the boss, though. I recorded this at different times Maybe of the day. Maybe Tazumaki poos the bed with the boss. So my voice is going to be always changing. I sound like different people. Nope. Tazumaki solos. All right, so the next challenge we're going to be doing is Hero Association Act 6, Immunity. Uh, immunity might be difficult. This is one of the tougher uh, acts to do because we're not going to have the slow from uh, Tatsumaki anymore. But I think we should still be okay. If Tatsumaki could solo this, uh, she could solo basically almost anything. True that. All right, she so can use the A button. So what I do here, this is another task where you're going to need to record the whole thing. So as you can see, I move. So you would basically either win the round or lose the round. When you see the retry screen, then you just click on retry a bunch of times. Click... Uh, Wait for it to load. As soon as wave one starts, you're going to move uh, left with the A button. Get to this car. You're going to click on top of Tatsumaki. Then click on Tatsumaki. Place her down and upgrade. The reason I moved the camera angle was just so you guys could get a better view of the boss and it like dying. But uh, you're not supposed to move the camera angle at all. Don't touch it. And yeah, basically it's like every other tiny test that you have to, when you have to record all the way to way 15, you're literally recording for, it shows nine minutes there. But yeah, it's longer. I wouldn't really suggest doing this one. I mean, do it if it, it pulls up, but it, it's longer. And you want the short ones. Like water is four minutes and 30 seconds. This one's kind of whack. Yeah, you always want to give it time. When you see the end screen too, before you uh, before you stop your recording, so when the retry screen pops up, count to fifteen, and then stop the recording. You want to give buffer time, because sometimes it loads in slow. If it loads in slow for ten seconds, your tiny task is cooked. If you waited ten sec, fifteen seconds before clicking that button. You're not cooked. So we're sacrificing time for efficiency. 
consistency, actually. So yeah, they die. The boss dies. Pretty simple. So now we're doing snowy with his. So same goes for snowy. Wait till it ends. Click on retry. And then wait till you spawn in the map. Wait till the wave starts. Then you can start walking and doing the pattern I did. All I did was I used S, walk towards the incline. As soon as I saw the incline stop, I went uh, right by clicking D. And then I place down Tatsumaki. And right now I'm just going to chill there and upgrade Tatsumaki. So I maxed her out and I moved the camera just so you could see. But every, it's pretty simple this uh, process. I had to re record all this because when I was lowering the volume, uh, you guys were still hearing the volume in the background. So I had to re drop this video. It is what it is though. You know, it's here for you guys to help you guys with the tiny tasking. You could do this on story. You could do this on challenges. It works for everything. So, yeah, if you really like that, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And I think the commentary is needed because there is a lot of things I do. And, you know, sometimes people could get lost in the sauce. Anyways. If you are confused, put a comment down below and I'll try to help you as best I can. Take it easy and have a nice day. Peace.